The following is a very rare talk given by John Diebel, who is a brilliant pioneer and visionary in the field of automation and computers for business, accounting, and industry. Diebel wrote his first book, Automation, The Advent of the Automatic Factory, in 1952 at the age of 26. His books and lectures helped define and popularize the new industry word, automation. In 1954, he founded John Diebold and Associates, which became the Diebold Group Incorporated, international management consultants. Under the hot lights of the film camera, John shares some of his thoughts on automation and society. Like the pioneers of the first industrial revolution in the 18th century, we face a world in which only one thing is certain, change, fundamental change. We're leaving the push button age. We're entering an age when the buttons push themselves. Far-sighted people see in automation not only an opportunity to reduce operating costs, but an opportunity to create new products and new services. I think it's fair to say that automation offers as much and as great an opportunity and a challenge and a reward as any that we've ever known in America. We're going to find that we have to reconsider our whole approach to work itself because we will start to have more and more of our life occupied by leisure. When the 40-hour week drops to the 30-hour week, when a man leaves his station fresh and full of energy at the end of six-hour days, when leisure time spills over from Sundays to Monday and to Friday, then for the first time in our history, we're really going to face the problem of what to do with leisure time. We have to reconsider the whole concept of whether or not work is the center of our lives and leisure a means to prepare ourselves for more work. When we start to have a large amount of leisure time, far more leisure than work, we're going to have to begin to consider whether or not we can develop a society which makes leisure the basis of culture rather than the fringe. John Diebold continued writing and speaking about the social impact of automation for many years. The Diebold Group was most influential during the 1950s and 1960s. In the 1950s, he was invited to speak before the first joint congressional hearing on automation. In the early 1960s, he served as a consultant to both President Kennedy and President Johnson. Diebold's clients included IBM, General Electric, RCA, Boeing Aircraft, Westinghouse, and many others. They published periodic reports on the computer industry, which remain valuable historical resources to this day. In 1991, he sold the Diebold Group to Daimler-Benz, the German multinational company, who wanted to expand the reach of their global technology and management consulting services.